This is hopefully just a quick video, a bit of fun, just talking about this wall behind me, uh, which in its own right is not that exciting, but given that this property is about 180 years old, you can see and hear that it's plasterboarded. And I'm gonna grab the phone now and show you the rest of this wall and why it's a bit of a weird one. Now, all the other walls internally in this house are single skin brick with a bit of plasterboard on either side. That's how they've redone the internal finishing more recently. So why should this bit of wall be 450 mil thick or thereabouts? I have literally no idea. If I come out of the bedroom, the wall on the inside, on the other side here, probably finishes about there. So there's no feature on the outside of this bit of wall that suggests as to why it might be like that either. Very strange. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick you on time lapse. I'm going to punch a couple of holes in here just to see if I can find out what's going on behind it. These are the things that you come across when you're renovating an older house. Weird things like this and I have no idea what's going on behind here, genuinely, so it's exciting to share it with you. Okay, so that's the original lath and plaster wall. If I'd taken off the other side, so this face of that wall, I wonder if I might have found a, a, a deeper gap behind and then the face of that lath and plaster wall behind there. Um, and I wonder if they've blocked that up because of something to do with the staircase, because if there, if this wall was further back, then there'd be a gap at the top. So maybe they've just brought the, this, this wall forward to be able to bring a staircase forward, because this is not the original staircase. This is a sort of 1960s, 70s affair, I think. What I'll do is I'll just take the face of this plasterboard off quickly and then just see what's behind here. And the first thing that you notice is the the size of that gap you've probably got about 30 centimeters and if we have a look inside those are the original floorboards down there you can see where they've built the stud wall out casting a small shadow in the center of the screen now that's where somebody probably hung a picture years and years ago that's interesting um, some more stud work over this side and then What's up there? Okay, so that's the original lath and plaster ceiling. Okay, so I was I was uh, a bit worried that I would find something behind here that made me uh, just want to cover it back up again. That's about 30 centimetres of space, free space that can be reclaimed on this landing. Maybe the bottom third as a two panel cupboard and then the top as shelves and then some skirting or some architrave, something nice decorative moulding around the outside, like an Edinburgh press, and I think that would look absolutely wonderful. So even though we're not discovering original features per se, we are reclaiming space and it gives me the opportunity to put something um, you know, a really nice feature back in. That turned out to be more exciting than I thought. The other thing as well that I wanted to say is just to the side of me in this bedroom as well, you can see there's a fireplace that has obviously been covered over. And again, in much the same way, I have absolutely no idea what's behind it. It's just been plasterboarded over. There are four fireplaces in this house. It's uh, the, the original cottage is two up, two down. So there's one in here, one in the bedroom across the hallway, there's two downstairs as well. And what I'm gonna do is a similar video where I open those up and discover what's behind there because I have literally no idea. So that, that's something I'm very much looking forward to doing. For the meantime, please do subscribe so that you can follow that when they appear. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you in another video.